I want to talk about jockeys that you've ridden against in the last 15 years. And I want to put it to you in this way. If you're an owner and you've got a $1.50 chance in a big race, Sha Tin, who do you want on board? Any any jockey at their best during the last 15 years that you've ridden against here? I think you can't beat Marrera, right? Like, um, he came here, he's he broken and set so many records, uh, phenomenal rider. Uh, he's, he's, he's a bit of a confidence rider, but when he when he's on, uh, he's on. And he could do things on horses that I've never seen done before. Um, he was amazing when he when he's in that zone. Um, and it's not often he's not. You know, he's, he's been at such a level for, a, for a, such a long period of time now. But, um, yeah, he, he, he gets so much out of the horse that, um, you know, I'd, I'd have full confidence in, in putting him on. How do you see that in a race when you look across at him? Can you see what he's doing or do you see what the horse is doing? Uh, listen, there, there are s- certain things that you, I can see him doing that other riders don't do. Um, and that might have been his upbringing growing up, um, you know, as rough as he did on the bare back of a horse. Um, it might be the style that he grew up with. It might be the balance that he has. I think he's probably the most naturally gifted rider that I've ridden against. And I think that's why he's as good as he is. Um, tactically, I think I may have ridden with some better riders tactically than him, but I think naturally, and I think that's why he gets so much out of a horse. Because he's doing these little things on them that m- the majority of people wouldn't even notice, and other jockeys mightn't even pick up on either. But when you're close to him and you're studying him and you're watching him and you're with him so often, you get to pick up on all these things that uh, that make him the rider that he is. Um, so yeah, he's um, he's got a lot of tricks in his bag. Um, you know, some good, some bad. He he can be very intimidating. In a race as well, he uses that to his advantage. So um, you got to be prepared for for what he's going to throw at you. But he's the ultimate competitor. Tell us about a couple of things specifically that you mentioned there. I want to pick that apart because it's a good case study and to see what you see, um, whether it be how fast he can change hands with the whip or little specifics like that. What what is it that comes to mind when you? think of well what is something different that he does so the the probably most the most glaring thing that he does that the other top riders around the world uh, don't is he rides on such a short range I've never seen a jockey of his caliber before in my life have that short range on a horse we're always told have a long rein get them relaxed but by having the short rein he's got he's always got the touch with their mouth. He's always playing with their mouth. And his weight is well over the wither. It's like he's riding uh, a motorbike, for instance, that type of seat on the horse. Uh, And because of that, he can get a long way forward. He can get right up behind their ears when he needs to. Um, He can hit them very hard with the, the whip. He's very good at throwing his balance around on the horses whilst also keeping the horses balanced. But he can also throw his weight around on the horse to get them to change their legs and, and manipulate their their path in races. So his style is very unique in that sense, and I think that's probably the most glaring thing that sets him apart um, from a lot of other riders.